this video we will discuss about chicken pox and the scientific name for the virus that caused this chicken pox is varicella zoster virus so we will understand how this virus infect our body or the host in which this virus gets inoculated so let us start from the figure a that is whenever the person uh, inoculate vzv virus or varicella zoster virus it will go uh, through their mouth and when it interacts with the t cell it will get activated and spread across the uh, body and the initial infection that is happened is known as primary infection and simultaneously what is happening is that uh, uh, it is uh, retrograde transport into the spinal cord and then it spread across the different part of the body and the latency is been uh, maintained so what does it means that it is uh, spreading on different part of the body but right now it is not showing any kind of symptom it is in the form of concealment and the primary infection uh, is also parallelly going on so after some time what happens is that this uh, when the latency has been developed it will starts to uh, integrate it will start to transport via integrate that is move out from the cells and starts to showing starts to show uh, infection in the on the skin in the form of reactivated skin infection so this is the secondary form of infection whenever the latency gets overcome or latency overcome the immune system of the um, body so let us now understand in detail how this virus gets uh, hijack or take uh, take the host cell machinery function in order to produce their uh, or replicate their virus so this is the vsv virus uh, it is a coated virus so when it will go inside the cell membrane the fusion and uncoating will occur uh, top layer will get removed and then dna will move uh, or pass through the nucleus or nuclear pore of the nucleus then the dna will uh, get uncoated from the capsid and makes a circular form and from the literature it has been observed that uh, there will, uh, as soon as the dna is formed there is a immediate early protein secretion happens and after that the other kind another category of proteins that secreted is around early proteins and uh, the third proteins that are secreted is the, are the late proteins and some of the late proteins are nucleocapsid proteins so what happens in the nucleocapsid is the part the, after the dna duplication a part of uh, or we can say uh, one of the some of the duplicated dnas will get uh, will get packaged inside this nucleocapsid protein and then move into the uh, move out of the nucleus uh, with the nucleus membrane move out of the, sorry it will move out of the uh, nucleus through this nucleus membrane and simultaneously what will happen is that uh, there is a secondary envelope development occurs from the uh, at, from the or we can say at the transcolgy region and the secondary envelope will cover this budding or budding across uh, nuclear uh, membrane or we can say the nucleocapsid that is uh, packaged with that has packaged this DNA will get a secondary envelope in the form of uh, this virion uh, virion vesicles and finally the exocytosis will occur so this uh, that leads to release of this virion into the extracellular matrix and then it can infect the other cells of the uh, host so in this way uh, the chicken pox uh, virus uh, will get replicated within the body and this is the uh, macro view the figure at the top is the macro view 
how the virus uh, uh, gets how the virus affect the host in two forms first is the primary infection second is the uh, we can say reactivated infection after the latency has been developed after the virus is spread across different part of the body so i hope you have understood how this chicken pox affect on the host whoever gets infected if you need to understand about this uh, that is varicella zoster virus or chicken pox in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time